All right, y'all, got the perfect drink for the holidays. Not too many people I've seen making this stuff, trying to bring it back. It's called mold wine, AKA spiced wine. Uh, it's real good, real simple. You probably got most of the ingredients in your house already. Mine is maybe just a few things, but uh, it's cheap, delicious, and alcoholic. Let's do it, baby. We're just three dudes putting in work at a kick-ass bar in East Texas. Every week, we bring you great food and beverage ideas you can make at home. Maybe some reviews, jokes, and definitely some subpar video editing. It's 3D F&B. Here's the ingredients. Uh, we need uh, apple cider, uh, just any brand, just a cheap brand from the store. You know, just pick up a jug. You're only going to use maybe half of this, maybe not even. Uh, Got to get some cloves, whole cloves, nutmeg. That's good. And then uh, we got cinnamon sticks and ground cinnamon. Uh, you don't have to use the, uh, the cinnamon sticks, but it's like a, it's a nice little addition. And uh, the longer you cook it down, the more flavor you're gonna get out from out of these things. Uh, got an orange squeezer. I'm gonna peel it, slice it, and put the whole orange in it. And then just a uh, cheap ball of uh, red wine. We're using a barefoot cab because that's what we got. Um, any red wine will do. Uh, some people that are bougie might want you to use a certain kind, but uh, I don't really care what they say. Uh, it's good anyway. And then uh, we just gotta make sure to slice it, take the peel off of it. We're gonna put the peel in it, squeeze it, and put the rest of the orange in. We're gonna put the whole orange in it. We gotta slice it and peel it. Now we put everything in the pan. Go ahead and squeeze it. And we're gonna put the whole thing in there, the pulp too. Squeeze that. Do a few of these, the rest of these. Gonna put all the orange peels in there. Uh, about half a jug. It says three cups, but uh, I've been making this at the house already, drinking at the house a little bit. Uh, it's about half a jug. If you want to measure, it's three cups, but uh, that should be good. That should be good. And then uh, just some uh, ground cinnamon. I don't ever really like measure it that much. I just kind of put a little bit in there. Just, you know, maybe get that in there. You know, you can add a little bit more if you want. You know, it just depends on how like, how much flavor you want from the spices. Cloves are kind of strong though. You only want to put about five or six in there. Whatever, seven. Whatever, it'll be all right. Put the seven in there. Then you gotta add the nutmeg. So just a little bit. Or I'll use this side. Not too much either. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, we made some cinnamon sticks. Boom. And then I forgot to say this earlier, but just a little bit of sugar. We're going to use packet sugar because that's what we got at the bar. But uh, two packets. You don't really. You literally don't want to use more than this. I know from experience. You add too much, it literally makes the stuff just straight syrup. Still good, but you don't want to just drink straight syrup. You know what I'm saying? And then, now I gotta heat it up. Now if we can put it on the stove, we wanna heat this up. Uh, you don't wanna boil it. You wanna bring it right till, it, right till it's about to boil. And then uh, lower the temperature a little bit. But you just wanna move it around, stir it around. Let everything mix in. About maybe 10 minutes, 
But like I said, don't bowl it. All right, like I said, use any bottle of wine. We're using a cab. Some people might care, some people might want sweeter wines. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not like a big wine connoisseur or anything. And most of the flavor is gonna be in that pot right there. So just add the wine. Put that whole bottle in there. And then stir it up and then we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. Remember, don't let it boil right before it boils. That's where you want it at. Now that you leave it uh, warm enough, about 10 minutes, you can leave it warm enough longer if you want. Get some of the more uh, flavor out of the cinnamon sticks. But uh, now you just take a ladle, coffee mug, Serve you up some. Hot. Oh, that's good. Anyway, uh, now you know a good uh, recipe for uh, your girlfriend's mama, a grandmama, nursing home. Uh, but say what you want, man. Spiced wine's good, good in the holidays, and uh, unlike uh, Josh's cookies, this is uh, way much cooler and way more fun because there's alcohol involved. Dude, uh, like, like, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. Oh, do I have to do that? Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, drink. <laughs>